Good morning, everybody. Day nine, I'm here. We're in Kobe. Where are you, Kobe? Yeah. Kobe, what's the actual name of this suburb? Well, we got off the station in San Nomia. San Nomia. Yeah. So San Nomia is the station we got out off at, but we're in Kobe. There's a lot of card shops here, apparently. So day nine, we're refreshed. It's 1 p.m., we're starting late. We should be feeling good, got some good sleep in. Food in. Brought some food in, had a BLT, had some croissants. We're ready to go. Let's find some deals today, let's waste some money. First store we're at, there is not much. There's some old back stuff, some more old back stuff, some E Series hollows. Oh, E Series energies actually, there's no hollows. Oh, there's two down here. Rockets or Rainbow's energies. Oh man, I'm starting this day off terribly. I need, I need to get in the zone, I need to remember what the cards are called. And there's a trainer mag set of evolutions. Could be good. I'll probably look at those. And then everything else. There's not much. Just a bunch of just random modern and then random Yu Gi Oh! They don't have many expensive cards here or much at all, really. It's, it's honestly, it's just mainly just bulk. So, not too bad. Look how cute this little kitten card is. We're gonna go to the next store and hopefully we can find some more stuff. First store, hit and a miss, but that's perfectly fine. I'm not gonna waste you guys' time bad stores but in Kobe there's around uh, I'd probably put I don't know how many it might be like 15 card stores within the same sort of like mall section I don't know I can't believe I just call it mall shopping district I don't know whatever whatever if you want to call it mall what even is a mall it's not even a real word in Australia mall mall mal right I'll just show you guys what this looks like uh, turn it around so we're on the third floor of this shopping center there's some nice guitars there. That's pretty cool. Oh, what is this? It's a big bear. I don't know. got big ass shoes. <laughs> what the? What the hell is that? It's a shoe store. That was a huge. That, that, those shoes were huge. So it looks like there's a dragon star over there. And there's another car shop there. There's another one to the left of it. And there's a Suruga Ya right there. And there's another store there. So let's go in and let's have a look. All right, day nine, boys. Uh, we're gonna walk into Dragon Star. There's not much in there. Bit of Pokemon, bit of modern everything. We've seen it a hundred times over. Just gonna show it off real quick and uh, get on with it. So, I'm gonna put this up and aim this down. Walk into Dragon Star. You see right there, Dragon with a star on the bottom. <laughs> Got some Pokemon here. Normal, everyday. SARs, Secret Rares, Master Balls. These are all damaged cards. That's why their prices are maybe lower than you've seen. And then some more full arts down here. And then hyper rares for the hyper rare enjoyers. And then we got master balls on the very, very bottom. But there's only one cool card in this whole place that I really wanted to show off. And that was uh, right here. But I already checked them before and they were all damaged. But a lottery set. You don't see that every day. 90,000 yen. But other than that, classic collection. These are not Pokemon cards. What is that? That's a good start of the day, so. Yeah, unfortunately, not much in Dragon Star, but. It's really busy in here. Yeah, it's really busy in here. That's okay, J Love. YouTube sensation. I'm gonna go walk to the next door. Because this store, there was a lot of modern, but we're not looking for modern today. We have, we have so much. Every store has so much. There's modern, there's so much. So I'm gonna go to this store, Suragaya. Apparently that's how you say it. So you gotta go slowly with the word Suragaya. And hopefully they have some Pokemon cards for me to buy. Wish me luck. We are at Toraka Pack. And they don't have much. This is pretty much the extent of their Pokemon selection. A 50,000 yen, Uniqlo Pikachu, bunch of other Pikachus, everything else here. You guys can see it. There's not, there's not much. Not much, another small store with not much and everything's uh, kind of expensive. I think they, uh, their prices are last year's prices. So yeah, Toreka pack, maybe a no-go. It's not all doomed though. They have some pretty cheap used cards, 15,000 yen, 20,000 yen. It's not amazing. Uh, I don't know if that's like how used, if that's state B or like state C or damaged. 22,000 for Umbreon, but yeah, this is pretty much, I mean, you can get this card for 15, 16,000 yen in mint condition from other stores, so. You know, not every store is gonna be perfect, but that's what it is. Some more Charizards over here. But it just seems like maybe they priced them 
a long time ago. They have no dates on the stickers, so I can't tell when, but it's really loud in here, so I'm gonna leave. But it's an okay, it's an okay selection of cards. But for how many other stores are around, there's probably no reason to come here. Pikachu Shine, 3000, used. And then they have a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh cases here. So, not too bad, but we shall move on. Plenty of stuff to do today. All right, we are at another card store. Right now it's called Prazy. Do they have a sign somewhere? Oh, it's the same one with the kitten on it. Yeah, same thing everywhere, same chain that we were in, uh, I guess, Osaka and Tokyo. And they have a bunch of Pokemon cards here. And there's J-Love on the ground looking at stuff. So I actually got the best modern deals here out of anywhere I've been to. So I'll show the cards I purchased later on because I already like, went through the checkout and stuff, but these guys were, were really, they were really, really uh, fair on prices, I think. I think the cards that I bought, like I got that Pikachu in the back there, 10,000 yen. I bought, I bought two or three of those. So yeah, it wasn't too bad. I got the Charizard 15,000, everything was good condition. I'll buy those Charizards, but I already have like seven of them. So you know, they got a CP6 Charizard there. Oh no, that's a classic Charizard 10,000. That might even be in mint condition price too, so. Very fair, plus tax free. So I bought three of that Pikachu, the, this one here where my finger is, and I bought some of the Mew, the new special art Mew from the newest set. That looks really good. So this is just all their Master Balls and stuff. 1300 yen, that's a good price. Whenever you see a Master Ball 1300 yen, that's good. And even a Tangela, 980, that's a great price. So I was very, very impressed with this store. I know it, I've, Jesus, these guys are making so much noise. That's crazy how much noise that guy makes. But other than that, they they had didn't have much of an old section. This is pretty much all they got for their old cards. Some yeah, Miracle Berry, Touch Touch Exchange, oh, some more old ones. There's a few E-series hollows. I bought some E-series hollows here at seven oh, 1,500 yen each. So that's not too bad. But if you can get an E-series holo for 1,500 yen. But other than that, you know, and there's. The OK J Love himself buying some cards. He's a beast like that. You know, he's always buying cards. But yeah, they said it's fine to film. So I'm just gonna walk around and show a bit more of their store. Maybe my eye will catch something as I walk around. But they have a really nice Yu-Gi-Oh section here. I think I spent around 70,000 yen. So they were very happy with me. They're always happy when you spend money. And Jewel Masters. And then I would have loved to buy some of these Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but this, this sticker here says it's all scratched. Yeah, that's always how it works. All the cards you want are always damaged. <laughs> but it's fine. You know, we make do and we buy what we can. But I checked a bunch of these and the conditions are very respectable. But no one really cares about Yu-Gi-Oh! So that's fine. Except for me. I, I care about Yu-Gi-Oh! So we're about four or five stores deep and I'm starting to see it. I think there's like two big sections for like trading cards. So oh, we're about to go to Hobby Station but they're closed. I don't know why. So yeah, two or three big sections in Kobe for... Sorry, I'm reading the sign. I don't know what it says. Oh, I think they moved store. Look at this. Hobby Station, they're all closed. And they have a sign here. Looks like it says, go to 301. And that's all the way down there. Oh yeah, you can see the sign down there. So I'm about to go down there. I will, I'll just take you guys with me. Why not? We're vlogging, right? We're vlogging. Vlogging. Wow, that's some nice jewelry in there. Let's think about getting Kim some jewelry while I'm here. What do you guys reckon? Oh, there's another castle right here called Torre, Torre Mani. Looks very nice. Everything's nice. Looks like mainly One Piece, not much Pokemon. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. So I'm gonna walk into this hobby station in a sec, see what they got, and then see what they have. To sell me and then if they let me film i'll show you guys as well okay so we're at the hobby station this looks like the scratch dam damage sort of section and they have a bunch of like reverse hollows 500 yen nine, eh, 2000 for the slow poke it's not even scratched that might actually you know be a good card to buy but i love the way these cards look a bunch of hollows espion 2400 you know stuff's pretty fair got some e-series tyranitars some Charizards here. I'm gonna check these Charizards. 
If complete sets, Lugia Legend, Horror Legend, 2,500 and 3,000 yen? Oh, I'm buying those, that's for sure. They sell like hotcakes. They're great cards. Check some of these reverses. They got some rare black and white promos, it looks like. Um, some Master Balls. A Gengar Sky Ridge. I'll check the condition of that. PSA 9 I sold for like 400, 500 a few, uh, a, a few months ago, so maybe, maybe it might be good. I you know, can't always hope that it's going to be mint, but maybe it's good. A few other Pokemon cards, that's nah, all modern, like all like playable stuff. Up here, it's all art res and stuff. So I'm gonna check this store. They have, a, they have a, some old ones here, some XY cabinet. Secret res there, so I'm gonna ask to check some of these and buy some of this stuff. I was right at the front of this store called Card Square, but right across from it was something that caught my eye. How cool is this? There's just like so many figurines. I've never seen that many. Dude, it's LeBron James. That's crazy. He just, I don't know. I haven't really filmed a bunch of non Pokemon card stuff, so this is the kind of stuff you can expect. I don't even know if I'm allowed to be back here. There's no one. Oh, hello. <laughs> scared the shit. <laughs> you scared me. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, well, the guy's right there. Oh my god. It's scared me. There's so much cool stuff. Does it have prices on it? None of it has like any pricing. Is it just him showing off his stuff? Holy crap. You guys have no idea, but the guy's like in a corner and I just legit shit myself. Oh my god, I need to calm down. My heart is racing. Okay, well this is a cool store dedicated to peanuts and Snoopy, it looks like. But let's go into Card Square. Oh my god. I need to take a second. Oh, yeah, I just filmed that store there because mm. it looked cool. And there's a guy, he's sitting behind this thing. And he scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I did not see him. So they got some Ys here, some pretty neat Ys. I was just in the store and they have a lot of English cards. So I'm just going to show this. Look at this. Legendary collection. Not even a bad price legendary collection either. It's just so random. It's all English, all English graded, non-graded. Just wow. Like that special delivery Charizard. It's just crazy. Ugh, I'm tired. This trip wearing me out. Some more English, some more sealed stuff. An Australian grading company is there, I don't know. They must have some sort of contacts for like English stuff, I guess. Because that's very abnormal. A bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh Japanese. It's very dark back here, but. Some more, oh, they started deck cards. Maybe, maybe I'll ask to look at these. That's pretty cool. Yeah, maybe we'll look. When I come back through, I'll have a look. This is not even English. Oh, that is English. That blue eye is not English. I'm gonna go through all the stores first while I'm here and then come back through. Some more English Yu-Gi-Oh, but yeah. Very cool looking store. It's just very, it's just crazy to see like English cars like taped to, taped to the displays. Stay Love's coming. Reverse Mew, 30,000. He's filming while I'm filming and we're filming each other. I filmed him while he's in the bathroom, but he doesn't didn't see me. <laughs> it's like, it's what I would say if I did film you in the bathroom. Uh, see, it's what I would say. All right, off to the next store. Hopefully, we can find some more. Let's look at Hobby Station. Day nine. Yellow submarine. Oh, is this yellow submarine? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Fuck my life. All right, boys. Yellow submarine is not a hit. We hit previously. It's not a hit now. I'm going to show you the extent of their non-modern cards. Uh, please excuse me, Mr. Pokemon Jailer. <laughs> Thank you. This is the old cards that they have here. Right here. Yeah, pause if you want to see the price. There you go. Uh, that's it. That's the old card section. And this is the modern card section. It's kind of crazy, but hey, that's just how it is. I was going to buy this, but it went through the washing machine. So even 1,000 yen is too much for that. That was crazy what happened there. That's just, is what it is, but. 
Not every store is going to be a hit. Most of them are going to be swinging a miss. They have some cool stuff here though. I'm going to go to another store. Here it is. Said store with the incredible, incredible selection. Incredible selection. <laughs> you come back here. <laughs> Don't run into anyone. All right, time for the next one. Oh, it's nice out here. Very nice out here. It's very beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. Let's walk over there. This is uh, not all about Pokemon. This is uh, spotting. Look at this. I'm going to go over this and show you guys beautiful Kobe shopping center. People bustling. Yellow submarine trash. Let's go. Time to get some deals and some cards. Probably the last store for this area. It's called Mint. This is Mint. Mint in Kobe. So if you're looking for the store, it's Mint. There's there. Are. There you go. Still just the word Mint. So I'm just going to zoom back here. This is their PSA Pokemon. Some raw card Pokemons. And we'll zoom in and see what the good stuff is. So straight away, I'm drawn to all this E series stuff. You know, you know me, guys. Bunch of E series. Actually, pretty decent prices. Like, you can't expect everything to be super, super cheap at every single store, but, you know, most of these aren't that bad. So I'm going to look at a few of them. And then they have, like, the more cheaper cards down at the bottom. But that's pretty cheap, like 300 yen for a Ruler of the Heavens Hollow, Chansey EX, 1,000 yen. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how much more cheap you want these kind of stuff to be. Mr. Mime EX for 180 yen. Oh, I'm going to buy that. Definitely going to buy that. Zapdos GL, 180 yen. Mudkip Hollow, 200 yen. I'm definitely buying all this. All right, boys. Can I swap places, Joe? We're almost done. What is it? Gengar, 22,000. Espeon, 20,000. Mew, 15,000. It's not that bad. Actually, pretty reasonable. Lucky Stadium, 2,000. White Dragon Air, 16. Lugia's, 4,000. Um, what else have we got here? Just general old back hollows and general old back hollow prices within, you know, 500 to 2,000 yen. Pretty fair. Not bad. That's it, I think. I mean, for old stuff, some no rarity cards, no rarity war total, 3,000, but not many people are interested in them. Um, X and Y stuff, Sun and Moon. We already know that what that's all like. Yeah, every store has this stuff. And this is the rest of the store. Some Magic the Gathering star cards, and then downstairs they have all the sports cards. So this is like the play area, plus the, the Pokemon cards. So I'm just gonna ask this person the cards and I'll show which ones I buy. So that was Mint, sports cards and card games shop. It was okay. I think um, usually Mint stores are pretty bad. Right, West. They normally just have sports cards. They're just normally sports cards and one or two of something else. But that was actually surprising. But they probably had a lot of Pokemon here because of the lack of actual good Pokemon shops around here as well. Probably the only place I saw that sold more than like 10 old back cards. Yeah. So, yeah, that's not too bad. Um, Mint in, what's this place called? Kobe. Kobe. I know it's Kobe, it's like that one suburb name. Uh, Saranomia or whatever. I don't know, bro. I, look, what do you want me to do? Future Steve, put it on the screen. Don't do that. That's so editing is lame. Right. J Love says he takes 40 seconds and it's actually 40 minutes. It's kind of funny. Oh, we're going to do for three hours. It's kind of funny. He's, he's being that guy right now. It's fine. Whoa, almost fell over. Oh, almost got it on camera. Almost fell over. How cool is that? That would be crazy. All right. Well, if we don't see any more cars stores today, good night, everybody. This is day nine finished finished early but hopefully we will we probably won't goodbye i'm over buying pokemon cards we're gonna buy some singular lint chocolates how crazy is this i haven't done much you know japan sightseeing when there's just there's just so much stuff here that's just crazy i think this is crazy i don't think we have this in australia i think all this would melt in australia to be honest but lucky enough that japan gets cold enough where they can just do this Cheesecake lint, Stratiocella, that's West's favorite. My favorite is this one over here. All the way over here. 
all the way over here at the very start. This is my favorite. Hazelnut lintor. This is the best one. It yeah. says number 10, but it actually means... Number one? Number one. That's what I'm saying. Number one. Okay. I just wanted to show the boys the lint store. Check, check what kind of bang? Crazy bag. We got a crazy bang. Holy crap, that's like strong plastic, dude. <laughs> this is like better service than you, when you spend like, like three grand in a card bag. store. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that's the lint chocolate store. Let me just... I'm going to try and just show the... Look how pretty this place is. We just picked up some chocolate. Oh, God. All right, boys. Now we're gonna eat them. All right, what's up boys? We are at a place around 20 minutes out of Kobe by train. And you might have to take multiple trains because the subway system is incredibly confusing. And we are looking for one more store. We have been let down by Kobe shops. I was told it was gonna to be pretty good. I was let down. But there was that one store. I did get a lot of good stuff from one store actually. I can't complain, you know? I actually, I did spend like 150,000 yen on average here already, so yeah, you know, it's not bad for one day. Can't complain. Plus, you know, meeting up with some friends later on, and we're gonna get some Kobe beef, and that's gonna be fucking delicious. Kobe beef apparently is the best beef in the whole world. So, and I've had it once before, and I agree with them. It was very, very, very good. So, the plan is to go to this one car shop, have some fun. Is that green? Oh, he just ran across red. Wes just ran across red. What a beast. Don't go across red lights in Japan, that's how you die. Because these people don't stop for you when you're in the middle of the road. So, yeah, let's, let's pray that this car still is good. Chicken. Doesn't that chicken look good? Yeah. Not really. What? I can't really see it. But you like chicken. I do like chicken. But I like to know that it's cooked. I don't know if I can trust some of these places. What's behind us? I don't know. I'm here with celebrity YouTuber. Okay, J-Lo. You up. have 25,000 subscribers, don't you? That's half a million. Almost. <laughs> that's actually really far away from Try half a walking. million. <laughs> actually, that's 475,000 less than half a million. You got a long way to go. You feel more popular than you are. No, I absolutely you don't. You feel more popular. You're, like a, you're not a person, bro. You're like a god to me. All right, it's great now. Oh. You're my, you're my god. I'm your you're god. god. I'm not my a daddy. god. Not my daddy. Yeah. Okay, now I have to, Bro, now I have to cut shit. the clip. Cut Bro. Good. Even that doesn't look good. If I film that, they'll probably sue me. Because I'll show you the food to authorities. Look, Are you wanting to get something from here, Wes? No. Oh, we're waiting in. Well, it's like Here's a chicken chop. Oh yeah, we're getting dinner soon. True. This is the worst vlog of all time. This is not a vlog. This is a vlog. You understand? It's a big oh, one. And we're just about to go to this car shop. I'll let you guys know how it is. I'm just yapping right now. I'm trolling J-Lo. He does not like me. We have arrived at this card shop and it uh, probably wasn't worth it. But <laughs> it is what it is, boys. You can't win in the mall. You know, you don't, you don't know what's going to like. You like There's a bunch of basic V's, basic EX, basic all this other stuff. And they have lollies. I'm probably going to get some gummies and stuff. You guys know I love my candies. And Wes is over there looking at some cards, but prices are around double, double normal. And they got some One Piece on this side. They got some Yu-Gi-Oh on this side. This card here is what I'm looking for, but a not a damaged version. I'm looking for a one in good condition, unfortunately. But it is what it is. Bunch of bulk. This is just a really small shop. It is what it is. And they have some Pokemon in that section. So, I mean, what can you say? <laughs> Was it worth the 20 minutes, the train ride, the stress? Definitely not. But not knowing would be worse. Because if that dark condition girl they had, I checked it. It was in bad condition. If it was in mint condition, even if it was more expensive, this would have been worth it. So, swing and a miss. But you got to try, you know? You don't want to quit before you hit big. Just like all those gamblers out there. You guys are always quitting before you hit big. I don't quit, you know, I keep gambling. I'm not a quitter, you know. You can't lose when you gamble. You either win or you quit. So that's my motto. And hopefully there'll be one or more, one more store for the rest of the day, maybe one or two more. If not, this might be the sign off for day nine. You guys thought I was gone. There's more to Japan than car shopping. Check this out. This is a strawberry. 
I had to buy it and I'm just going to munch into it and I'm just going to see what happens. Mm. Mm. That's actually pretty good. Steve's Strawberry Reviews. <laughs> mm. Look at this. Mm. That's so good. It's going all over my hands, but I don't care. Wow. I should wash this first. I can taste the dirt. Mm. I've never seen a strawberry like this before. This is crazy. Mm. Now I need to wash my hands. It's not a big deal. You guys want to see the location I'm at? Because it's... Uh... <laughs> Don't worry about that. The location I'm at is kind of crazy. It's very pretty. I need to put this down. There you guys see. The sun just went behind those buildings, so we're not going to get any glare. We've got this beautiful looking river down here. That's pretty nice. It's either a river or something underneath the town. Bunch of stuff. Some gardens. You know, Japan is more about just card shopping. This is like 20 minutes out of Kobe, which is like a smaller city. And then it's just, you know, you're not really going to get this in the middle of the cities. Jay loves through that tree there. I don't know if you can see him, but he's also getting some sightseeing shots. But, you know, it is nice here. Genuinely. Reminds me of home. Lots of trees everywhere. Nice and calm. The water's running. This is a nice place. But I already said bye before, but this is bye for the second time. But you know what's going to happen is I'm just going to have another clip coming after this one of me saying bye again for day nine. But this is crazy. Nine days straight. I am not a vlogger. I am not used to this. I'm going to be real with you guys. Video recording has been a little bit throwing me off. My throat hurts, you know, with this wind, how cold it is, everything just dries you out. But, got to document the trip, because I said I would, and I really want to see it, you know, in a year's time, two years time, might be awesome. And maybe I get good at this, and people like seeing it, and I like seeing it, and I like doing it, so I just, you know, come back and do it again. Maybe I go to some conventions and show it off, I don't know, might be getting good at this, might be getting, maybe it's just so bad. And no one wants to see it, and I think it's trash, and then we just don't do it again. Who cares? So let me know your feedback on everything, too. And yeah, it's kind of all feedback helps. I don't need feedback like, oh, Steve, I can't believe you bought those cars. They were so bad. Okay, well, that's, that's not real feedback. I need feedback like, yo, Steve, don't be so shaky with the camera. Steve, look, look at the camera with your eyes more and stare at us when you talk. Steve, stop slurring your words. Steve, the audio is bad. That, that's good feedback. But not like, don't buy. 2.7 million yen worth of Yu-Gi-Oh cards in Japan, Steve. That's bad idea. That's bad feedback. Because I already know that. <laughs> I already know that. All right. I just want to say I miss my cats a lot. And I miss Kimberly a lot. Kim, if you're watching this, I love you. And I miss you. You know I do. So, yeah. I, don't, I didn't think I'd get homesick in just two weeks. But, Jesus. I miss my cats. And my partner in crime. All right, I'm just dragging this on. Hopefully, there's one or two more things today, but I don't think there's any more card drops unless I go really late. I told you guys we were finished for the day. We are going somewhere. We are either going to go to someone's house or the card shop. <laughs> the card shop looks like somebody's house. The card shop there looks like somebody's house. The there is a microwave in there. This guy looks handsome. What about this view? Whoa. What's up, boys? Hey, what's up, boys? What's up, boys? That's what you say on Steve's channel. What's up, boys? Yeah. What's up, yeah. Stevers? They're called goofy, goofy goobers. <laughs> We're all a bunch of goofy goobers. Watch me. I'm, I'm the only idiot here with a camera based at me. Are we going to die today? Maybe. Is that a card shop? It doesn't look like That looks... Oh, it is at the end, Jella? Yeah. Oh, that is all right. Really Oh wow, that's the tournament that you had to play for the, <laughs> like the card. All right, we found the card shop. Uh, is it closed? Good luck with. 
Okay, we thought it would be a bust. Well, this is a pretty cool looking store. There's a bunch of stuff around here. Sleeves. J Love standing in front of that, so I can't show you. <laughs> Don't be silly, Willy. I love these on the wall. I might have to get these for my house. That's awesome. But they didn't have many Pokemon cards. But what they did have was these three. These two are Nimmin. And this one's like light played. So, honestly, you can't go wrong with that. I'm really pretty happy actually. So, I'm gonna put these away. They gave me some nice change. So it's all about, it's all about, you know, effort going to every single store. So, pretty nice little store. Tiny selection. Some people playing the game. J Love here. What else they got? No rarity Pikachu's. A few old hearts. Just random stuff. Squirtle all series. They didn't have much, but they had exactly what I needed. So I'm happy with that. You're stealing your cards, bro. Bro, you'd steal my cards. It's because I couldn't, oh, get, them in the, I couldn't really get them in the cabinet. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. My bad. This might be the last store of the day. That's good. We picked up some deals. These are cool. Alright, good night, everybody.